Hello, camera enthusiasts, film nerds, and people who just clicked on this video because they thought it was about something else. Today, we are talking about the newest kid on the block, the Panasonic Lumix S52, or as I like to call it, the S52 hardly new. But hey, it's not all bad. The S52 does have a newly designed 24.2 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor. Same resolution as the original S5 but now with a 779-point phase hybrid autofocusing system. That's right, 779 points of focus, because we all know how hard it can be to focus on one thing. It's like Panasonic knows us too well. Another key upgrade, which I'm sure you'll all appreciate, is the Active IS, co-developed with Leica. It deploys algorithms to detect and anticipate camera motion, but, unfortunately, it can't anticipate your poor shooting skills. And let's not forget about its low-light performance and maximum of 14 stops of dynamic range, which means even in the dimmest of lighting conditions, this camera can capture the disappointment on your face when you realize it's pretty much the same as the old S5. Speaking of disappointment, they have introduced a new function called Real-Time LUT. This time-saving trick applies to photos and videos. So for those who are always in a rush and can't be bothered to spend an extra few minutes applying LUTs or presets at their desks, Panasonic has got you covered. But let's talk about video recording. The S52 is a 10-bit video specialist and can record up to 4, 2, 0, 10-bit 6K 29.97p long JOP video. It's perfect for when you have to shoot content for multiple formats and aspect ratios. Because who doesn't love shooting 6K footage for your 1080p YouTube channel? But wait. There is more. The S52 now also records up to 4 channels of 96Khz 24-bit audio when attaching a 3.5mm microphone. Because we all know the best way to improve your videos is to have higher quality audio of your rambling. The body of the S52 is tough, with a full die-cast magnesium alloy frame. But it does have some additional weight and size, which is up 26G from 714G to 740G and it's now fractionally taller by 5.2mm. I mean, who doesn't love a camera that's just a little bit heavier and taller? But the real kicker is the new cooling system, which lets you record practically unlimited time in all modes. So now, you can record your cat doing absolutely nothing for hours on end. Isn't technology great? But of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The S52 still doesn't have any tally lights, and the flip-out screen design is, let's just say, less than perfect. Especially when you have cables preventing you from easily flipping or seeing the screen. So there you have it, folks. The Lumix S52. It might not be a game-changer in the world of mirrorless cameras, but it's certainly a player. It's like the kid who didn't make the starting lineup but is always ready to jump in when the star player gets injured. Or, you know, when your budget doesn't allow for the star player. Disappointingly, there is no hole on the base of the S5 to near the standard tripod thread for an anti-rotation pin. But don't worry, your shaky hands will make up for that. It's like Panasonic knows that we love a little bit of chaos in our lives. But hey. At least you can tether the S5 to a compatible smartphone or tablet via the Lumix Sync app. Because nothing screams professional photographer like controlling your camera with your phone. So, there you have it. The Panasonic Lumix S5 II. Same, but different, but still the same. You might not be wowed, but you won't be disappointed either. It's the camera equivalent of lukewarm soup on a cold day it gets the job done but it's not exactly gourmet. In the end, if you're looking for a camera that's reliable, has a tone of features, and won't completely break the bank, the S52 is a solid choice. Just remember, it's not about the camera, it's about the person behind it. But if your content still sucks, well, maybe it is about the camera after all. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed our snarky take on the Lumix S5 II. And if you didn't, well, subscribe anyway. You never know, the next video might be better. See you next time, folks.